Hello, crafty friends. It's time for another Sending Love card tutorial. This time, I've just accidentally buried all the projects. We are creating cards using this current bundle and this retiring. It's current meaning it's current now. You can get it. Be mine designer series paper. All right, so we're just we're just going to shake things up with this little I could have used different dies. I was thinking of using the mailbox dies and everything inside here, but instead I just used a bunch of little hearts just to make the card a little more interactive. And a little bit of dazzle paper, bedazzling. I used Dwink of Stella and the envelopes, lots of bling, just lots of fun stuff going on. So we're gonna just use this bundle because this is what we were working on. This is our March workshop series. It's just spilling over to April. We're still working on some projects. These are ones that I really wanted to finish. So I'm excited to share this with you. There's a really cool die in here called, well, this little die, and it's real interactive, and I'm gonna show you how to make your little mailbox move, and I'll show you that couple examples with that die. But for now, I just want you to, this is gonna be a simple card. We're gonna use these dies here. We're gonna make these adorable little mini envelopes. Oh my goodness. I can't, I can't get enough. I just really can't get enough of these envelopes. And I, I really bought the whole set just for this. I mean, that's how I roll. When I saw something this cute, I bought the whole bundle just to have this die. So this is what we're gonna do, make lots of these little envelopes. I'm just making one right now to, to show you how fun this is. And then, you know, you can get this paper now and save it till next Valentine's Day. I can't imagine a better paper next year, but we can use it all year long for sending love, but I'm thinking, this is great for Valentine's Day. So I am a Stampin' Up! demonstrator. My name's Kimberly Smith. I'm known as the Paper Chef. This is my channel. If, you just, if you're new here, please like and subscribe to my videos. I teach ha card tutorials. I go in depth on how to do stamping, die cutting, electronic die cutting using your scan and cut, and how to make the most of paper pumpkin kits and other kits. So that's it. That's how easy these are to put together. So it's all the channel's all about crafting. I'm just getting out a pair of scissors. And then what you want to do is if you get a lot of glue on there, like I tend to do, you can try to get it off with a little adhesive eraser. Like so. And then what I like to do is put a little Wink of Stella on each envelope. So we'll go ahead and make a bunch of these. I'll show you how it... It's done, and I'll show you the little tip for making sure that your little bee isn't upside down. Turn that frown upside down. So we want our little bee to be right side up on the top of the envelope flap. All right. So anyway, that's all. That's all. I just want to show you this. This is the bundle. I want to show you this. This is the Be My Valentine bundle. And this paper has been fantastic. So that's what we're using, this paper. So the card base for the shaker card is Lemon Lime Twist. I chose Lemon Lime Twist because it's one of the colors in this coordinating colors of this paper. I chose Sweet Sorbet Ink because it's one of the coordinating colors with the paper. And then I'm using these craft note cards and envelopes. I'm actually going to go online later tonight and try to see if I can get some of these. I hope they haven't sold out, sold out because these are retiring. And I like to put these in all my kits. And I plan on putting them on my kits until I don't have any more. So I was going to get some more because what I was planning at the, each of these craft note cards and envelopes, by the way, I'm just, I'm just burnishing the edges. Each of these craft note, note cards and envelopes has a little box that comes with it. And I've been saving up the boxes because I've been using these in so many of my kits. And at one point I was going to send out the boxes and have everybody decorate them. So now I got to count how many boxes I've saved from these note cards, note card kits. They're really strong. They're called craft note cards and envelopes. Anyway, if you like something, we are gonna have a last chance sale soon, but I'm afraid that some of the stuff will be gone before then. Some of the retiring items will be discounted. Now, some things I'm not super crazy about, I'll just wait until the last chance sale. Try to get them, and if not, worry. But then things I really do love, by the way, I'm using, this is, we're gonna do some die cutting. Plate number one, base plate. Plate number two, thin die adapter. Then we're going to use a plate number three, 
I'm just using a scratch one, it doesn't matter. Then we're gonna use the plate number, another plate number three for the top. So go ahead and let's do our die cutting. Well, we'll cut our pieces and we'll do our die cutting with the scraps, how about that? Because I wanna cut these little extra pieces out. So I'm gonna take my trimmer and we'll go ahead and make some pieces that we need. So I'm also using a little bit of meandering meadow, you may have noticed. So for the meandering meadows, I'm just using these two pieces. So in your kit, and if you don't know what I'm talking about, I, I have workshop kits. It's not this piece, it's, I don't know, I'll find the piece. I have these workshop kits and I give you lots and lots of papers, specialty papers. Here's some bling that came in your kit. You get ribbons. They're really nice kits. And in there, you had some meandering meadows paper. And I'm looking for the piece that's kind of, this one. So we're gonna use that piece there. And I just gave these to you because for textures and things. So let's go ahead and cut. We're just gonna kind of build the cards as we go. So we're gonna cut this like so. So for the note, I'm gonna go, for the note card, I'm gonna go five inch, five. No, the note card is, here, let me just show you this. The note card is like this. It's five inches by three and a half, right? Like that, that's how much, right? Five inches by three and a half. But we're gonna make this a little bit smaller, just a quarter inch smaller. And just to show you what I'm talking about, you're like, where is this paper? See, I'm just putting in the background because I didn't wanna put the honeycomb in the background. I was thinking of putting the honeycomb, it's also petal pink, same color, but it didn't contrast enough. Or I mean, that little honeycombs would have been hidden. So I'm just going four and three quarters. Because the card is five inches wide, I'm going four and three quarters. See, like that. By three and a quarter. And then we'll go ahead and we'll attach that. And then let me get a, let me get a piece of paper for this. I'm gonna get some good paper. And I'll just put the note card measurements on the right side here. So note card. Okay. Layer one. Four and three quarters. Boy, that's not really gonna come out, is it? All right. Flip this over, we're gonna do this this way. Note card. That's much better. See, I'm always telling you about contrast, so I may may as well practice what I preach here, right? So, and then the extra piece, we're going to use this little cutie. And that's going to be, oh, we already said by three and a half, or by three and a quarter. And this is going to be the meandering meadows. Hold on. I don't know why I can't spell this. I always have a hard time spelling. M-E-A-N. It's, by the way, this paper, when it's gone, it's gone. I did get enough for my card club because my Pets and More is also going to be using this. But when, when our online, this is an online exclusive paper. So when it's gone, it's gone. As opposed to paper that's in our mini catalogs, they stay until the end of the catalog. They get replenished. So this is what it looks like. Love that paper. Anyway, then the next one's going to be mine. B-E-E, -E, be mine. So the next layer is, so this would be layer one, and this is layer two. And this is so four and a quarter times two and three quarter. All right, so this is going to be this. You're going to orient it like this so that you get the four and a quarter going this way. Anyway, the reason I didn't make the rest of the envelope yet is because I wanted to make sure I had enough of this paper. We'll make it with our scraps by four, what did I just say? Two and three quarters. So I've been real busy with my mom's birthday. She's the one that sews all your things for your little packages. So we've done, we've celebrated my mom's birthday and I see some of you wishing her a happy birthday. So she's not on social media so that I will let her know. And thank you. And then, um, We've been, I did my, you know, I did my retreat last weekend and I launched a new Udemy course. If you didn't get the coupon sets of coupon codes for $9.99 for all of my Udemy courses, then please let me know. I will give them to you. And the, uh, I can uh, put them in the newsletter. 
I mean, they're in my newsletter, but I can put you, I can give you a link to my newsletter. And then you could subscribe for next time. So this is just this layer like so. Now we're going to take our little scraps and make envelopes. You can make two at once. And we'll go ahead and attach that to here as well. Now for this project, we need, we need one, two, three, four. We need five little envelopes for this project. Two on here and three on here. Unless you want to put some envelopes on the inside. I didn't even, I didn't even start decorating the inside. I do that way later when I'm about to take my pictures and stuff. But feel free to make extra envelopes for your inside. It would be cute too. And then you can also have little messages sticking out. So we're going to flip that over and we're going to put the... And we're going to also cut some hearts while we're here. This little paper like this, any little scraps of it, we'll make some extra hearts. Here's some heart dies. So I'm going to lay those right on there and kind of put them at an angle like so. Oops. Make sure you put the die side down. This is the metal side. So put that side down. So make some cute little hearts and then make some cute little envelopes by going like this. And we'll do a couple. Here, we'll do this one as well. Now, these don't matter the, this direction, so we're just going to put those in there. See what I'm saying? Like, Because there's no bees on this paper. When, when we cut the bees in a minute, I'll show you that. So I'm going to put the top, I'm going to put the top lid on there and just roll it through my die cutting machine. All right, so let me say hi. Lots of crazy shadows tonight. I wonder why that is. Hi, Lynn. Hi, Debbie. Thank you for being a channel member. Channel members got a free coupon to my latest course. So check out, check out the YouTube membership area. You have a special post with a special coupon code. Debbie, I don't know if you know about that. Special perks for being a channel member. And if you're a Patreon member, you also got a special post. Hello, Betty. I wrote you about the, your second prize to pick because you won in the retreat last weekend, Betty. And you picked a prize that two other people had already picked. Those, the one called a Thoughtful Journey, Memories and More Cards. So I wrote to you and asked you to pick a second prize. All right, so here are the cute little envelopes that we're cutting out and assembling. We'll just go ahead and glue those. Now this is the bottom, that little part with the little flat section. And that's the sides. So anyway, check your messenger, messenger to pick out your second gift. Okay, isn't that neat? So easy. Easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. And you could put little notes inside as well, but I'm just, I'm just gluing them all together. This is more decorative for me. So I put a little dot there, a little dot there, and then, you know, you can put a little um, down, down the side like that, like, just to, just to get the sides going. And I'm using the Tombow glue, and then I'm just doing a little glue there. This is the green, we could just call it green glue. And then if you push it there, it'll get rid of the excess glue on, onto your paper. But don't leave it there too long. See how there's glue on your paper? If you leave it there too long, you'll end up gluing it to your paper. Ask me how I know. I walked away and was like, oops. I was trying to get the excess glue off, and then I glued it onto my paper. And if there's still excess glue, just keep, you know, tapping it off, but move it to another spot. And then you can get your little adhesive eraser and get off the excess glue. Now, you could ink around the edges for dimension, or, wow, that one's getting stuck right on there. That one just got torn to pieces. We'll have to cut another one of those. Too much, too much glue, I'm always told. I use too much glue. Okay, now let's show you how to cut out. Well, let's cut the next couple pieces, and then we'll cut out the next. So, where did I write that one? Okay, so we have this piece here. We have this little guy. This is the lemon lime twist. So we're going to take this piece, and it, it, the texture really doesn't matter which way you put it. I, I just put it this way, though. 
I made it go this way. So we're going to cut this one. The reason I'm not cutting any more envelopes right now is I need to know how many scraps I have left after I'm all done. So you're going to go four, right? Four inches by five and a quarter. Four by five and a quarter. This is your Stampin' Trimmer. If you don't have a Stampin' Trimmer, you know, just build yourself a starter kit and get yourself all of your essential tools that you need. Okay, I'll also put, I'll also put how I made this card as well. I know, it's so sad to cover up such a pretty design, but that's why there's four of each design in your pack of paper. So you can make three cards using the pretty design, and then you can use the wood texture as well. So place that layer on there. This is not the note card now, this is a different project. Let's break that over here. So this is going to be car shaker. Something is under there. Shake, shaker card. Okay, so the card itself, 11 inch, right? It's 11 inch like this, right? By four and a quarter. And you're going to score it at five and a half. Okay, so then layer one, Meandering Meadows. What does that stand for over here? It's the MM, Meandering Meadows, over there. Okay, that's what that is. And it is going to be five and one quarter times four. And that's where we're at. Now we got to do the next one, which is going to be half an inch smaller on all sides. So we're going to go... Now this one, you just... We're going to use the scraps on the other side and everything, but we need to go like this. You need to put it, place it like this. So if the first one was four inches, this one's going to be three and a half because I want that extra border to show. See that? The, like the wooden border is going to show around it. And then if that's three and a half, half inch smaller, then this is four and three quarters because all I'm doing is taking a half inch off of all the sides. Okay, so we're going to go four and three quarters. And this is the B mine, B mine L2 by three and one half. Okay, and then this part was three because I went half an inch smaller. So I'm going to go grab this piece here. Let's see, I might already have, I might already have the piece I need. Let's see, I think I already cut it. Mm. It looks like a little bigger, but I can I could use it. Three, that part. Nope, I even went smaller than three. I did two and three quarters. Okay, so two and three quarters. So that means I took a three quarters of an inch off each side times four, okay? Because everything's in proportion. This will be layer three by four inches. All right. So now we have all our scraps we can use for our shaker cards. So now I'm going to take these and let's safely put these somewhere. We're going to use this. We also need a window sheet. So I put that in your kit. We sell window sheets like so. So get that out. And now... I'm just going to put that off to the side. I can go ahead and I can at least do this layer here, like so. I can attach it. But don't attach this. This is going to be raised up because we're doing the shaker card thing. Unless you don't want to do the shaker card thing, it'll be, you can still do the same design, but just make it not popped up with, without sequins on the inside. I love lemon lime twist. I know I've told you that so many times. Anywho, after I said hi to Betty, I got distracted. Okay, so Hilda, hello, Hilda, nice to see you. Hello, Christina, nice to see you. Thank you for being a channel member. And check the private channel only post for the free coupon to my Udemy Summer Projects course using your scan and cut. Okay, hello, Phil, nice to see you. Hello, Dawn. 
I know, Don, that I still owe you a mystery crafty surprise. I wrote your address in my software today to send that out soon. Hello, Kathy from Backyard Stamper. I know I owe you some aprons and a prize from the retreat. Hello, Star. Nice to see you. Hello, Kelly. Yes, my mom's having the time of her life, Kathy. Yes. Thank you for asking. And hello. Thank you, Phil, for the birthday wishes. Hello, Elaine. Not my, It's not my birthday. It's my mom's, not mine. My mom is 92 years old. Hello, Anne. And congrats on your prize in our team door prize drawing. You won a prize yesterday, too. I give out lots of prizes. And I have them addressed. I have some of them addressed, addressed uh, but not mailed yet. Didn't mail any of them out yet, but they're in envelopes ready to go. All right. Let's see. We're just going to cut the rest of the... So speaking of envelopes, we're going to cut... Oh, no. We're not going to cut this one. This one we're going to safely put over here. I'm putting it over there because I accidentally... I don't want to die cut it. And we're putting all this stuff over there to the side. And we're just bringing the machine a little closer just to... Um, just to show you, I'm going to use all these scraps for my envelopes. So you can make some out of this. And you can make some out of this plaid here. Uh, this one is good for hearts or an envelope. Either one. But this one, this is the one I want to really show you. Because I thought this was adorable for the envelope. And you're just going to go ahead and, you know, just go ahead and cut a little piece. So what you want to do is put, is put this upside down. Okay, here, let's use let's use a little bit bigger of a piece. Sorry. So I want the B to be right side up. So I'm going to take a B, like so. I know I should have I should have done this a lot. We'll just use a bigger piece. I shouldn't have chopped my piece all like this. All right, so the B is going to be upside down inside my little... Inside of this flap here. So that's how you're going to do it. So you're going to take that B and you're going to put it upside down. Okay, you'll see you'll see why. And it, it doesn't have to be straight or anything. It just has to be upside down. Okay, and we'll go ahead and cut another envelope out of there. And we'll go ahead and cut a couple more hearts for good measure while we're cutting that. All right, so let's do it. And then I'll show you what I was talking about in a moment after we cut our little envelope. I just wanted to show you how I'm die cutting the little bees out. All right, I'm going to move that back out of the way. You don't really need to have that. This was, this was my glue holder. <laughs> I also have some glue holders made with a 3D printer that my friend Michelle makes. All right, so let's see. So this is what I was trying to show you. So you see how the little bee, it was, I cut it upside down. I put this upside down. So now that's the top of the envelope, and when you fold it over, the little B is right side up. So just make sure you get one little B on each little flap. Don't worry about the rest of the envelope, but just the top flap, because the rest of the envelope you can't really see, but you want a little B on the top of your flap. And then sometimes you get little bonus, like there's an extra B popping out there. And all the other patterns like this don't really matter. These are just your little petal pink patterns. It's the bottom. So I need to cut some more envelopes. Let's move this out of the way. All right, so that one's good. We're going to glue these. I'm just going to throw the ones that are ready over there that are dry. Get my glue again. I might make some extra ones. Thank you, Leslie. I will send your glue holders yet. So, um, Michelle, my friend Michelle Rushing, she's one of my sidelines. On, We both belong to the same team. Her husband has a 3D printer. This is just, well, this one I got from Sue Earhart, my team member. She gave it to me. I don't know where she got this one, but it makes a great glue holder. I'll have to ask her where she got this one. See, like she gave it to me at Valentine's Day, and I was like, oh, my God. She, she didn't give it to me as a glue holder. She gave it to me with some treats in it. But I immediately thought, of, I'm going to use this as a glue holder. See? So not sure where she got this one. But my friend Michelle Rushing makes, her husband has a 3D printer, and he makes all kinds of things. 
and I'll show you the ones that she sells. And then, you know, you're going to have to email me for the link because I can't really f remember later. Well, not that I can't remember. I have a, I actually have a pretty good memory, but I don't have like a, I'm not like super organized. Like, you know, some of my team members like Janet who tries to keep me organized because it's like you, 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 there's all these comments here and it might seem like I'm super organized. I mean, I know my limitations though. And I am with certain things, but when it comes to like, oh, I got to send this person the link and this person that, it's better that you email me because I do answer my emails. But sometimes these things get lost in the comments. So what you want to do is after you're done making your cute little envelopes, you take some Wink Estella, and this is just giving it a little dimension. I'm putting Wink Estella along the flaps like this. And even this one because, you know, it's, it's white, so you want this to stand out. So I'm putting Wink Estelle along the flaps of this one. Okay, and how many others? We have the honeycomb one. I'm not sure which project I'm putting either one on, but I need to I need to make a couple more envelopes. We'll make one with the yellow gingham. So let me show you that 3D. Let me see, I'm gonna make one with the rest of that yellow paper. I'm just gonna grab some scrap, but before that I wanna show you this one and while i was in houston she even gave me a three a different kind of style the glue holder is a different style now Let's see if i can find it yep these are really this is really slick see she's made a much slicker style of glue holder so that's pretty cool I'm still just using this one because this one's already all dirty. And then she gave me things for my... She makes holders for your chamois and half chamois to keep the, tra the trays to keep your chamois wet. So 3D... I don't know if you know about 3D printers, but they take a very, very long time to cut stuff. They're not like you just cut it. You know, it takes hours. So, like, you have to also buy the plastic to put to use for the 3D printers. So I have one at my job, one of my jobs. And you have to buy these big rolls of plastic and use, and it takes a long time to print. So, you know, they definitely need to, you definitely need to charge. We're going to just make an envelope out of this one, like so. And then, let's see, this one. Yeah, we need this one for this little background layer. And then we can use some rest for the envelope. Or did we already make that? Oh, no, we already made that. Or not, we can use this one. I'm just looking for my scraps here, what I can use. Because I want to use these tiny little bees. Like, that would be cute. So again, upside down. If you like a bee, you want to cut it upside down or at an angle. So that would be... That one will work, probably. Upside down so that it's right side up when you when you get it out later. All right, I'm going to do that one first before I do the plaid. It's probably best to do one layer at a time. Okay, we'll make some more hearts while we're there. Oh, no, that, that one's pretty much spent. We'll have to get, get rid of that paper and make some with some other paper. Okay, Charlene, you would like to get... Charlene, she's on your team too, if she's on my team. So I'll get you in touch with her though. She's on the other team that we all belong to. Yes, so my team member has a website. So I'll have to get that for you. And But just email me, Charlene, and we'll... See? Oh my goodness, it's too cute, right? So the little bee, right? I cut it upside down. Do you see what I'm saying? Here's the die. So make sure when you cut your envelope, your B is upside down. And even at a little angle, it makes it even cuter. So when you do that little flap, your B is on the flap. Making your envelope just like the cutest thing ever. For all to admire and adore. Who wouldn't admire and adore these little... So anyway, she's not, so Michelle's business is not to do 3D printing. She just does it as a service to her customers and 
you know, any demonstrators that want it or any any customers that want it. She's her actual job. I mean, she's actually an accountant and she's really busy doing tax taxes this time of year. And she's also a silver elite demonstrator and she has a YouTube channel and everything. But she works full time, so she's very busy. But she does do the three D or her husband does the three D printing. And you can place orders for these things. I mean, they're so convenient. They're so awesome. I mean, think of how much glue you save by having See, I'm putting the Winkestel on that cut. You know, all the glue you save by constantly having it. And all the time. I mean, time is important, too, to save time. Not just glue. Because time, you could be pounding your glue. You've seen me on this channel. Think of how much time I've wasted on this channel alone, pounding my glue. It's, it's been utterly ridiculous. Okay, let's... I'm going to make a couple little hearts out of this paper here. And then I think I'll have my hearts and my envelopes done. What are we up to? We have these three, and I know we just made another B one a minute ago. Here we go. So, yeah, and once I do my little gingham one, I think we should have our heart. And then we need five hearts. Well, however many hearts. It doesn't matter. We'll just we'll do more hearts later if we need to. But we're at least have the envelopes done. And then here's the little hearts. You just want, you can put Wink Estella on them if you want. I'm just putting them over on my little tray. Stripes and gingham just for contrast. Oh, there's another one. I'm doing one hand die cutting. with, And it didn't even move. Okay, a couple extra little hearts. So one thing I thought that was really funny, so I went to this event called On Stage, and there was some demonstrators. Well, not just some. I mean, thousands of demonstrators there from around the country. And one demonstrator, this is not my friend Michelle. She didn't do this. But one demonstrator had all her 3D objects. She had, a, like, a little store set up. She just set up in the lobby. And I, when I went along, she goes, this is all I have left. I tried to buy the one off of her that she had as display, but she said, that's my craft holder. She has it for, like, all her craft tools. And she said, I can't sell that one. It has my name on it. It's like she actually personalized it. Just like my friend Michelle made me one that says Kim Stampin' Spots. So she does personalization. Anyway, the lady sold them all right in the lobby right there. Just while we were swapping. Because everybody's out in the lobby swapping cards and projects. And she was just like setting up shop. And she had people who had already asked her ahead of time, can you bring your 3D stuff, 3D printing stuff? And then she ran out. But then she gave her business card away and flyers, and that way we can order more off her, too. And her items are, like, she has this big thing for, like, sticking all your tools in. My friend Becky gave me this one, and I've been using the heck out of this. I love this thing. This is what I put my Wink Estella in. She got this one and ordered it for us. I don't know where she, she said she got it delivered to the hotel. My friend Becky from Guam, she was traveling, so she just ordered those for us. It's called a pillow gift when you see your friends and you give each other stuff. Like, my mom made all my pillow gifts. My mom made everybody a bag that's with actually little bees on it, as a matter of fact. All right, our envelopes are all done. And we have lots of hearts, too, so we're good. We have lots of embellishments. Now we're going to work on the shaker project, the shaker part. So everything's the same for the window sheet, except you want to make it a smidgen smaller. So let's see if I need to write that. I'm just going to write and window sheet. Now, knowing... There's my other envelope. Knowing that when I write window sheet, you know you need to make it slightly smaller. I'm just not going to write the eighteenths of an inch or whatever. I'm just letting you, letting you know that. Uh, so end the window sheet. I mean, so like technically, it's like three and fifteen sixteenths of an inch, right? Like you're not going to make the window sheet the exact size of your paper because it has to kind of hide behind your paper. All right, so I'll, I'll bring that back in a minute. I need to figure out where my window sheet is I was just showing you. Here it is. So this is a window sheet. We're gonna cut that. It's it's gonna be four by three and a quarter, except it's not. It's a little bit smaller than four by three and a quarter. 
And, or it can even, this one's like already a little over three. So that one's like three and an eighth. We'll do this one. It's a little smaller than four. So we're going to go mm, three and, like I said, 15 sixteenths of an inch. Now when we hold that next to our paper, you'll see that it's going to be hiding behind the paper. Okay, so when I turn this over, oops, maybe that wasn't the right size paper. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I must have written something wrong here. Three, two and three quarters. Okay, let's check. No, that's right. I just didn't do it right here. Yeah, instead of two and three quarters, it's almost two and three quarters. I was right in the first time. Okay, so anyway, you're gonna, it's going to hide behind here, but don't die cut it. I'm just showing you that it's going to hide. It's not going to be like exactly up to the edge because it's going to be high behind your paper. So now, with that in mind, that's going to hold up your card. It's going to be your support, and it's also going to be your window so that nothing, none of your little sequins fall out. So now we're going to make a fun little busy kind of crazy card. And if you want to put a solid piece behind here, after the fact, I was like, I could have put a solid piece behind it. But then I kind of like the flowers peeking out in the background. So all you're going to do... Put this off to the side. We're not die cutting the window or all our sequins would fall out. Ask me how I know. All right, so now we're going to go like this. We're going to put this here and we're going to make our little holes just in the piece of paper. So go like that. Find your little, little things that should be right here. Here they are. Hearts. And I have one more double hearts. Here we go. So here are your four dies. And so what I did is I just, we'll just look at the one I have. I've sort of offset this one. And I was trying, I was thinking like, that way I can put an envelope above it, sort of like, you see? And then I put that one. So offset that one, put a, little, put a few little hearts up here with enough little room for an envelope between them. Something like that, right? And then put a little heart here. Put another little heart here. And put these little hearts down there. So that's your design, just like so. That's your design. So if you need a screenshot of that, I'm putting the envelope there for reference so that you have enough room to put a little envelope there. And now we need to put this off to the side. And I'm going to put this up on my scan and cut machine. Not this guy. He's not going to get die cut. We're going to put him off to the side. And we're going to die cut this whole thing. Come on, let me show you where it's at. Come on. All right, so now we have little hearts we can use for our projects. So save all these little hearts because we might use all these. What I did is I put them in my little jar of crafty goodness, except this little guy plugged up my jar. So this guy, I had so many little hearts, I thought these will make little great, you know, shaker cards. Some of these we might use for this project, though. So great little embellishments, but... These are my little party favorite jars. All right, I think I'm done with those dies. And save your little circles because you never know. You might be able to use them for something. So now we're going to take our Seal Plus. That's our adhesive. And we're going to put that all over this everywhere you can. That There's no holes. So just go ahead and put it like all along the top. You know, anywhere you can because this is going to stick the window sheet onto it. Don't use glue. I know you want to use glue for this, but it'll just ooze right into all your holes. And then you'll make, you'll have a big old mess of a shaker card. I used to get glue all inside of everything. I'll show you this closer up after I get it all in there. So you want to make sure that it's all covered as much as possible. And now you're going to take the window sheet. Hopefully I can wipe this sticky stuff off of my hands. I'm not quite done with the, um, oh, that's not my window sheet. Where's my window sheet? This one's way too small. And that one's not it. All right, let's put those over there and see what I could have done with it. Looking around. <laughs> Sometimes you guys see things better than I do. Okay, we got our little die. Put that over there. 
I'm just going to gather my little scraps and see if I can find the window sheet in the process. This is this one's easier to find because it has an actual piece of tissue paper on it. And sometimes I save those for kits. The only other thing we need our trimmer for is this little paper. So maybe I left it on the trimmer. Did I? I didn't leave it on the trimmer, but I often do that. Okay, here it is. I found it. All right, so there's the sheet. And you're going to put that onto your... Onto here. Oh, did I show you the adhesive? That was the technique is... See that? Those little ridges? This is Seal Plus. It's awesome stuff. I mean, it's it's like leaps and bounds above the seal. Seal adhesive is like, blah. So anyway, I have some rewards, so I'm going to stock up on things that are going to go up in price. The next catalog, that's my that's my strategy with, to use my rewards. I have some rewards points that just came out today. And it's, it's not rewards. It's called product credit. And if you're a silver, which you'll get there. I have a lot of silvers on my team. You'll get there eventually. You will... You can get some product credit. I'm looking for the little foam adhesive strips is what I'm looking for next. And I think I'm just, it's just easier to grab a whole new pack of them because I think I only have little scraps. Mm -hmm. Okay, so this is what the package looks like that they come in. Foam adhesive strips. They're great for shaker cards. And what you want to do is just snip off, you know, a couple rows of them and then snip off what you need. So you're just going to get the little pieces and you're going to peel them off and you, you're just going to place them along the edges, right? Like so. So it's going to pop your card up. And that's why you never put your dies on the edge. That's why when I was making the little holes, isn't that cute? Here, let's put something behind it so you can see. Little window shaker. But you, when, you, when you're doing that, you never put the holes too close to the edge so that you have room for your foam adhesive strips. Okay, you can even use the edges here. Anything goes, it's all adhesive, so double-sided. And you're going to put one side there and there. And that's all you need. Oh, no, we, I'm sorry, we need to also seal it up. So we actually should go, we should actually should get this better. This one we should move down and seal it up like this. That way we're not wasting as many sequins. So seal it up so that the sequins don't fall out of that little hole. And then this part I'll seal up with this little guy. I'm plugging the holes, in other words, so my little shakers don't fall out. But you don't want your foam to show through like your little heart. So make sure you don't plug up the holes too much. Okay, this little guy... I'm just going to put up there just to hold the card up. And I need a little bit down here to plug this hole. So right over here, I'm going to go up like so. So if you had a little shaker window, like a round window, you would just put this all around the window. Like you would take this and you would just do like this. If that's your shaker, whatever shape your shaker card is. But this one, I just want the sequence to fall all around that whole section. And now I'm going to pull all this off. And just put it right on to the card. After I put the sequins in, of course. Now we got to put the sequins in. And my mom helps me with these little bottles. And hubby was helping me today with the card kits. He put all the, he put the rest of those together. <laughs> the card club. Which was nice. Nice of my hubby. All right, where's my little sequin? Here we go. So these are little bottles that my mom fills with sequins. They're called sequins for everything. And I'm going to use a whole little bottle of fairy dust here. So let's get back our card. And we this is where we're at. Let me just double check that I didn't miss anything. Yes, it's going to go from this to this. We're going to shake it up, see? And put the sequins in there. So you're going to put the sequins onto the middle of the card like so. Let's dump them all out. These are stamping up sequins for everything. I don't even know if we have... These were on clearance. I don't even know if we even have these anymore but they're really useful. So only this month, only the Latte Love is going to get these. If, the, if we don't have them anymore, the last kit to get them will be this month's Latte Love kit. 
because we're focused on this month's kit is Latte Love, and that's the only amount of bottles I have so to fill with sequins for you. You'll be making a shaker card. And, and you make a shaker card in every one of my workshop series on YouTube, pretty much, almost, for the last several years now. Because I like making shaker cards. Well, I like making anything 3D, but shaker cards are especially fun. Okay, so that's it. And now, shake it out to spread out the sequins. So that's how you do it. And now you have some fun interaction. But, I mean, it looks like blah, right? Like this. Like my friend Sandra, when she was doing a presentation, she's like, at first it looks like blah, but then you start decorating it and it looks like more fun. I mean, it doesn't look black because it still has cute little flowers, but it's like at this point you're just you have you don't have your your sentiment on there yet. You don't so it's no there's no context for all the love like sending love. What do you mean? So now we'll bring back we'll do all the stamping, and then we'll do the next we'll do the note card last. We'll, but we're gonna cut we're gonna do both of these at once. The little love a little love from me to you. So to do those, you're just using little scraps that you have from. You know, when you make your card bases, you have little scraps of paper, half-inch scraps of paper. So I'm going to go ahead and stamp them in Sweet Sorbet. Okay, let's see what we have here. We need this. We need... These are my little envelopes. Here, I'll, I'll take all these. We're going to need these soon. Well, I'll, I'll come back. I'll get these later so they don't get in our way. We need something for inking up. Should be That should be fine. So to ink up, you want your, you want to do that first, by the way. Lemon lime twist. Otherwise, you'll have a big hot mess on your hand. Hands. You're going to put some ink like so on your stamping block. You're going to take your blending brush, and then you're going to blob off some onto your glass mat. Right? And you're going to rub it on here. I just did it like half, halfway for contrast. I made it like half shaded, like so. Okay, tap, tap, tap. So just blend a little line like so. And I'm just going to do a few of these because we need two of them, at least two. Oh, I see what happens when you don't get the blob off. It just goes right on there. Hi, Tracy. Nice to see you. Hello, Yvette. Does she sell her key holders? Um, key holders. Um, I don't know what a, a key holder is. Is this supposed to be a key holder? You're talking about these? This isn't... I don't think she made this with a 3D printer. It was a, it was a uh, chamois holder. I guess you could call it a key holder. She sells anything. Everybody sells everything. Let's put it that way. There's, there's like the saying is everything's for sale, right? <laughs> everything's for sale. Like if you were, like I had, a, I had a customer today that wanted, she was upset. She didn't have parakeet party ink. I'm not going to say who, you know who you are because they ran out of parakeet party. And so it's okay. I'm not attached. Now, it would be different if you wanted my piggy stamp set. I might, I might have a different attitude. There's a few items I'm attached to. There's a few sentimental items in my craft room. But most things, I'm just like, okay. All right, so that's all the lemon lime twist we need. You need something? I have it. We'll get it. Okay, now we open up the stamp set and get out the one called A Little Love From Me To You. By the way, stick around and you'll see what, what else we made in this fun series that we've we had during the month of March. We I have three more card designs to show you that we made during the month of March. So I'm mounting that, and I was just going to find a sticky note or something. Oh, here, I'll just use... I'm just going to go ahead and fold this down just so I can use it to stamp onto. So this is a little scrap paper, and I'm just tap... I'm using Sweet Sorbet, and I'm just tapping it onto the sheet to make sure that it's okay. So now we're going to stamp it on here. And by the way, I put these in the dishwasher. It didn't get off the, uh, the fogginess. I tried vinegar. It didn't get off the fogginess. But we, my husband still plans on polishing this. We haven't tried polishing the plastic yet with the fine sandpaper. Okay, that one's kind of crooked. 
So we'll just try another one. That's why I inked a few of them. Okay, that one's better. Let's see if I can get one that's not crooked. The only thing about the red rubber stamps is they're just much harder to line up. I was going to do one that's upside down like this way too. Okay, that's good. So we have them going each way. Now we're going to take the card here and we're going to do one with a little bit of this the little bit of this guy on it. So I just take take your little bedazzling it's called and get a little half inch off of it. I've already done that. But just go ahead and get a little half inch strip. Well, actually, I'll just do it again because that one was kind of crooked. And this specialty paper came in your workshop kit. So go ahead and look for it. It's in with your Be Mine paper. I kind of liked it because it looks like little honeycombs. Mr. Clean Eraser. Oh, I have a Mr. Clean Eraser. I haven't tried Mr. Clean Eraser, but I have a ton of those Mr. Clean Erasers. So thank you for the tip. I will try that. Tracy. Tracy, I know you also have a prize coming, so I'll be sending that out soon. All right, so this one I want the little love from you, lots of love from the little love. I want this one with the little contrast on the bottom. Okay, do you see what I mean? The little contrast on the bottom. So we're just going to put a little bit of adhesive on here. Here, put adhesive on there, like so, and then attach it to this, like so. Oops, it was the other way around, wasn't it? It, make sure you put the adhesive toward the top. Okay. Oh, well, it's, it's, it's okay, as long as it overlaps. So I put it like so. Okay, now you're going to take your scissors. And you're just going to cut yourself a little, cut in a little angle. So I'm doing the note card. This will be the note card one. And just cut it at an angle. Together. Cut them together. So it looks like you did all this on purpose. And you have yourself a little banner. And now we're going to pop that up with dimensionals. And put that onto our note card before we do our little envelopes. So we're going to do a few dimensionals. And we're going to look at that. Let me see if I need any more sweet sorbet. I think that we don't need any more sweet sorbet. So we can close that and safely put this one over here so we don't get that all over the table. And sometimes... I just take, I usually use a silicone mat to craft on, but sometimes I just cover that up so we don't get stuff everywhere, like all over my hands and projects. Anywho, let's get rid of this. Put this on the card. So here's our note card. Again, kind of looks kind of busy, all the busy bees going around. But when you start building it with the layers and the cuteness, it's fun. This one I'm just putting, it kind of seems like it's falling apart. There we go, put this one back together. All right, there we go. Just lay it on the top here. Maybe center it a little bit better than I did there. Okay, so, so this little part wants to come off, so I'm gonna give it a rub behind it, get them together. Now, that's already adorable, but when we put our little mini envelopes on it, it makes it, like, over-the-top adorable. And then, of course, adding your bling, your sequins. All right, now let's put something on here. We're going to go... This one, I want this one with the top one inked up. See how... Because it's going to touch the white part, and I want the contrast on it. See how I did that? You ink up on the top, so just kind of chop the edges off this one. So as I'm making your little card kits, I have a load of these extra little half-inch strips because the paper comes in 8.5 by 11 sheets. That's why I have so much of it. And I always, I always try to add a couple of those extra to your kits just in case you want to have extra little scraps to stamp with. And I'm always using them for that, for sentiments, and just turn them into banners. Okay, we're putting that like so. I'm just trying to cover up the little piece of the, the little layer here. Whoops. I'm trying to get it over a little bit. Let me hold it there. 
Yep, that's what I want. See how I'm just touching it? The way I did it is like centering it, right? All right, so that's good. Now we have, now that looks cute. Now we got to add our little envelopes to both and our little hearts. So let's see what we have. I'm just going to grab all this little business over here. Get everything we need here to craft with. Hearts. We should have enough of everything. The envelope should go first before the hearts because you need enough room. So if you have two cards like this and you're designing, you know, it's kind of good to... This one already has a lot of bees, so you might not need the bee envelope on that one, right? Because it already has a lot of bees. But this one doesn't have the bees, so I'm putting the bee... I put the bee envelopes over here like this. So one up there and one right here will be adorable. Or... Let's see. Maybe, maybe this one. Yeah, I just like the way that little design is a little better. All right, so that's how it's going to lay out. And then I'm going to just do, then I, after I lay it out, I do the adhesive. Don't pop this up again with dimensionals or you'll have this humongous card, right? You don't want too much, you don't want the card to be too big. And remember I told you when we were die cutting to put that little space there for this envelope when you're planning and it can overlap the little circle a little bit down here. I did overlap the circle, but not these hearts. And now I can add the extra hearts. And I did add Wink Estella to the hearts. I just checked. So let me grab my little dimensionals. Oops. These were mini. Those are the big dimensionals. I need the mini dimensionals. I'm just going to use my black mini dimensionals here because this are so we can put one there. That will look cute. Tilt it a little bit. And let's see what this color is. Another little striped one. Put that up there. Okay, let's see what else we have. Okay, the little gingham one. Oh yeah, here's our little petal pink one. Oh, how cute are these hearts? Okay, we'll put one of these little guys down there, like so. And we'll put one of these ones that have the gingham right there. Oops, put this in there. I know I have, I thought I had another gingham heart. I'm going to have that one hanging off a little bit. So this is another stripe one. Let's see. Find... What else we have here? Here's something. Here's something. All right, so I'll put this one. I think I'm going to move. I'm going to move one of these down here and put one of these little pink ones up here so that they're not, like, right next to each other. So lots of there's lots going on on this card. Lots of hearts. Lots of glitter. And we're going to still add bling. We are not done yet. Anyway, I thought of using the mailbox as a shaker background, but the mailbox was just so big, the whole mailbox die, that I thought it, I thought this would be cuter just to do it this way. But do whatever you wish. I mean, every time you get a set of dies, that's a lot of opportunities for shaker cards. Now we need our bling that came in our package. Well, you know what I mean. You can add the three. We'll get that. We're just let's do the envelope. So you can add the three little. See, let me show you. One. Where's that? Two, three. They were here a minute ago. Yeah, because if I don't open up that extra package, I can use it for mystery surprise. But I, what I'll probably do is change up what kind of bling I add to that one. But that's how to do it. And now we're going to do this one. We're going to do three little envelopes. Let's give it a look. And then we could actually use these extra hearts for that project as well. Oh, there's an extra heart down there. All right. So we're going to take envelopes and just play around with them and see you don't want to cover up this this is a great b with the focal point the reason i covered that one up is there wasn't like this is the focal point see but this one that could be a focal point too i could cover up that but i'd rather cover that one and let this one be the focal point so this one would be cute to not that one would be cute like that one and then the, i think the beehive would go good here let's see and this one let's see what we have 
I'm thinking this could be cute on top of, if I went like that, covering up that bee a little bit and put that one like so. I won't need this one at all. Or maybe. I think the honeycomb definitely looks better. Maybe I will use it over there because there's enough bees on that one. Yeah, I think I'll go with something like that, but I think, I think I'm going to go with this one under. I'm going to go like that. That one's going to go under, and this one's going to go on top. And that one's going to go there. But, oh, actually, here. We'll put it, I kind of like, I like that little bee showing as well. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to just do your little layout, and then you're going to take them off and put, them, put one down and pop the other one up. See if I'm out of seal. So that one will go under there a little bit. And then this one's going to go, this one I'm going to pop up with the dimensional behind it. And then this part can have the adhesive. So that part, is it this part? Yeah. I like to kind of, so kind of like that. But you don't want to cover the, the flap because the flap shows that it's an envelope. Oh, and that little bee gets to show. Oh, I like all these little bees. So cute. Okay, then we're going to put this one down here. And we, since that one's popped up, we'll put this one flat. And now we have three cute little envelopes. It can go, that little bee, oh, we'll, we'll make the smile show. Oh, he's so cute. See the little smile poking out. And then, of course, some little bling. I just want to show you, I just got to point that out. One, two, three. But I'm just going to see if the hearts will be too much. I've got to put a few little scraps in my little basket here because I don't want to mix up those with my little. My little hearts here. I have so much sticking on me here. Get off me. Okay, that little envelope is the cutest. Okay, let's see. I think it'll be too much if I put any more. Oh, I could do those, though. The tiny hearts. Let's see it. If any of them are solid. Like, that one's cute. That one has a couple dots on it. Okay. Sweet sorbet. I'm just thinking out loud. Okay, I'm going to take sweet sorbet. I'm cover. I'm coloring in the dots here. It is. It is a sweet sorbet. A uh, paper. The color. I'm just going to color in a little outline around it because I want to cover in the white dots. Or actually, I'll just cover. I could just color in the whole thing. And then I'm getting rid of the white dot. All right. Let's see if that will look cute on the envelope. Little dab do you? This is when this is a good job for your take your pick tool. There's putty on there, and the putty helps stick things. So I'm just gonna try it. Oops, get off of there. See, I told you I have little scraps over. All right, I'm gonna put a dab a dot here, and I'm gonna go grab that with my putty tool. Stick it on there. Oh my goodness. So cute. I think that one needs it too. They all need it. They all need the little heart. So I'm just going to color. I'm just coloring them in because there's white spots on the heart. So I'm going to make all the hearts. Sweet sorbet. This one has the best potential. There's only one little white spot. Oh, you can color right on these silicone mats. If you don't have these silicone craft mats, another great thing to put in your starter kit if you join Stampin' Up. And if you don't join, you just get it as a customer. These are, these are tools that everybody needs. Silicone mat. Let's see what else. The, the stamp and trimmer I used earlier. The green glue. Oh my goodness. This is such an improvement over my first card. Sometimes I just do things like extra in the video that I didn't think of doing earlier. And that, I think that makes a difference, you know. We'll see what you think. We'll look at the before and after. 
Which one do you prefer? This or that? So the that meaning with the little hearts on the envelopes. Now this one has a heart envelope, so you can't put another heart on that envelope because that would be too busy, but you could put it on that envelope and that envelope. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna see if I can fix that one. I can fix this one here. Let's see what this, oh, that one's cute to it, those little, let's see what's this one. Oh, this one's good to fix. Coloring in the spots. Okay, it takes a, I, everything I do is like a little bit of a delayed reaction. So if you hear me silence, it's like, I have to wait for your responses because YouTube, YouTube, like any kind of media, a lot of media that streams is always like a little behind. So I think everybody's saying that. So where? I'm going to put one here. I'm going to go like that again. Oops. A little too much glue on there. Let's see if I can transfer some. without oozing it back out of my container. You're getting a heart. Note cards are so fun because they're so small and you can just decorate the heck out of them and then you don't even have to write much inside. It's more of like you're giving someone the artwork of, of the actual gift of giving them the card. Oh, that, that heart seemed bigger than the other heart, which kind of is cool, actually. I didn't realize there was a bigger size. Oh, yeah, there's a yeah there's a bigger size in the die. I did realize it because it's part of the die. Oh, how fun. And then I would actually add a little Wink of Stella to that. And this, this one did go a little over an hour, but that's because we have two, two projects today. I would usually do these in separate videos, but be, due to my schedule of being working on some other projects, big projects right now, then I had to, I wanted to do these together. These two videos together. So I'm going to put a little Wink of Stella on the hearts. I'm like in the note card even better than my shaker card after all that cuteness. But you have your little mini envelopes and you could do extra stuff with them. I'm just going to move this out of the way. So there we go. And I'm going to bring back the, the measurements. So that is how you do it and add some extra bling to your card. We used Meandering Meadows. We used Be Mine Designer Series Paper. And we used the Sending Love Bundle. The Sending Love, I'm sure I saw it in the new catalog. The new catalogs, if you want to request one, go to my offerings in the description. I am charging a tiny little fee, practically free. I'm eating the cost of sending this to you. And there's Linda from Stamp Cut and Create. And my team member advised me against losing money and even my husband, but he said, you're losing money on every time you ship out a catalog. And I said, no, it's a customer service. So, but I am just charging a tiny little bit, even though they cost me more than I'm charging you to get these to you. But if you want one, oh, I can't open it. Um, but this is in here. I can open it, but not on the camera. I could see if that sending love is coming back because I pretty much thought I saw it the other day. So request that, and they're already on their way. I've already ordered a bunch of boxes of them, and I'm going to be mailing them out next week. With the Card Club members, you don't have to request one if you're a Card Club member. You automatically get one. If you're a Paper Pumpkin subscriber of mine, you don't pay anything. You automatically get one. And if you're if you got a cardstock share or something, I might put one in your kit, if depending on how many I've left. All right, I don't know how to navigate this yet, so kind of lost, but I saw... I will figure out how to navigate this. Oh, here it is, here it is. Sending love. All right, page 79. It's in here. So this is not retiring. So just so you know, the, the bundle I'm using is not retiring. I'm just making sure because I saw it the other day. So you can, you can see all kinds of projects made with this for the next year to come. However, this paper, though, the Be Mine paper, is retiring. And I'm going to get some more of that. That's really awesome. Okay, let's grab that measurement thing and see if we have it all covered okay putting that over there putting that over there so what we have are these two cards i'm just going to put these and i'm going to show you three more examples that we made earlier all right so all this is is that it's the be mine the note card looks like that 
And the shaker card looks like that if you want to take a screenshot. I don't really have any other measurements for you, per se, except I will write the ink colors, ink, I-N-K. But I just want to be able to fit that all in there. So I'm just going to put ink, like, over here, and it'll be for both cards. So here we go. Hope you got your screenshot. Ink is Sweet Sorbet for the sentiment, and we have Lemon Lime Twist. The awesome party color that used to be one of our ink colors. It went away for a couple years. I was sad because I loved it, and I'm so glad it came back last year in the color refresh. All right, so during this series, we have made some fun cards. Not in any particular order. I'm just going to show you the projects we made. And if I make any more, I'll do it in conjunction with the latte. Like, I'm going to start the latte next because it's April already, the latte love. So if I do go back to this, I'll go back to it, or if I do something simultaneously. But I think I'm going to be done with the series right after tonight, unless I make something like as I'm making the coffee cards. But here's a really fun concept of what you can do with those envelopes to make yourself an interactive card. So you have your little envelopes. You can put them in and out of your mailbox. You can fit a couple in there. Say your little bee. This one, of course, wouldn't match, but you can put your little bee in there. So you could just stuff little notes in your mailbox or money or probably lip balm might even fit in there. Let's see. Well, you'd have to make it a little bit bigger and you could probably put other stuff in it. But look how much room is in your mailbox. So that's fun. And then if you use a brad and the glimmer paper, you can make your, you know, middle mail, mail flag up, put, your, put it up or down. So just use a little brad. And we did this in this series okay so that was fun and then oh it's right here so this is more of the this is the be mine paper this is the oh by the way that was fresh freesia cardstock so you still have lots of extra cardstock you can use for other projects this was daffodil delight cardstock and here we colored in with the blends all the, the mailbox and we used i miss you a little note to say i miss you so we didn't get to use the welcome sentiment, welcome friend, but you could use that on any card. And I didn't use the little bird, but I did use a little note to say I miss you. And we used the one called mail. On this card, we used the mail stamp right here. And then this one, we used this little guy right here. See? Sent with love. It's really tiny. Okay, now this card used paper that's already gone. People are upset that this paper's gone. Delightful floral designer series paper it's it was an online exclusive paper and apparently it's sold out i do still have some because i was using it for my kits so we used the little circles that were in your kit and then some of the stitch stylish shapes dies with the pool party and some of this new glimmer paper the berry burst glimmer paper you had in your kit some i put some berry burst old olive and white glimmer paper in your kit and so you're able to use that for these designs. And that paper is just gorgeous. And this is very burst. So I hope you enjoyed this. Just another way to use the envelope. Another way to use the glimmer paper. And you had four kinds of paper in your kit. So we used Delightful delightful Floral, Meandering Meadow, Be Mine Designer Series paper. And then in your kit, I also gave you some celebration paper. I didn't design with it because celebration's over. But it's called Sunny Days. So just go ahead and use that. And you can make yourself some more projects using this bundle. Let's see what we have. Any other comments? Thank you for coming, Elaine and Linda, and thank you for your comment, Betty, and thank you for voting, Kathy, and Paper City Cards, and Tracy, thank you for the tip about my stamping block. Well, that is all for now. Have a great evening. I appreciate your likes and your comments, and we'll see you again real soon. Bye-bye.